My name is Seth, and I'm the lead pastor here at First United. As we gather together for this Ash Wednesday thought, this Ash Wednesday devotion, I want to say thank you. Thank you for joining me on this day. Thank you for joining me in this time. Because this is, usually isn't a time where we have a, a full sanctuary. This isn't a time where we usually have lots of people. Or there doesn't seem to be a, a lot of, uh, of uplifting music in this moment. Because Ash Wednesday and the kickoff of Lent is, is the time of preparation, a time of preparing our hearts and our mind and our soul and our spirit to the death and the resurrection of Jesus. And sometimes we focus so much on the death that we forget about the resurrection. We forget about that Easter morning and the hope that it brings. This Lenten season, we're gonna, and, and the church, we're going to be looking at hope and seeing hope as that spark of life, the hope that gives, that fills us with joy, the hope that fills us that there is purpose and, and life and who we are. But as we begin this Ash Wednesday, as we begin this Lenten series, we, we come to Ash, Ash Wednesday and we come to this moment where we look at, at receiving the ashes. And we receive those that are here. And, and ashes are mainly the palms, the ashes of the palms from the previous year. And we put them on our foreheads and a sign of the cross or put them on our hands and, and just as a sign of humility. A, a sign of understanding of, of where we come from and where our body will end up as dust. But the magnificent part of that is that's not where we end up. That's not where we end being is dust. We end up being in the presence of God. We end up being with Jesus and celebrating at the heavenly banquet, sitting at God's, uh, sitting at God's uh, feet and worshiping and celebrating life itself. See, so somewhere along the line, we, we got confused a little bit. Somewhere along the line, we, we thought it was about giving up uh, candy and chocolate or maybe giving up chips or, or soda or giving up items that, that we think we should, but we've, we've been able, to, we, we've turned away from that, from what the beginning of what Ash Wednesday was meant to be. It was meant to be a time of fasting and preparation, a meant a time of, of seeing Jesus and, and who he is and hearing his words. There's three times, there's, there, there, in the, each of the Gospels, there's these mentioning of Jesus telling his disciples about what was coming up. And he has to go and be ready, and they have to be prepared for his death. Now, each of those times, the, the disciples were not happy about that, were not pleased about it. They, they felt that they were losing something, that they were giving up something. They didn't understand what Jesus was meaning. And the early church would, would take that, that beginning of Lent and, and that Ash Wednesday, that 40 days before Easter, and, and see what they would fast giving up food, giving up time, giving their spiritual energy to prayer and confession, making sure that they were ready for that day, for that Easter sunrise, that Easter morning, when they would celebrate the, the resurrection of Christ. They would celebrate that moment that, that their sins were forgiven, that they were cleansed and made whole, See, we've, we've turned it to being giving up something and, and no longer having the mark of the ashes, no longer having that time of penance or confession, that time of saying, of being humble and realizing that we're sorry. We've turned to letting go of things that, that are delightful and, and bringing back, reinforcing that understanding that Lent is a time of sorrow, not a time of hope. But I think as we go, delve into this Lenten season, I think we need to turn that around. We need to turn it around to show that Ash Wednesday is the first start of a hope, a hope that's rekindled, a hope that's reborn. And if our hope is reborn, then that means that there's somewhere along the line we understand that, that we have sinned, that we have done uh, disobedient, disobeyed God. And we understand that, that as we were formed out of the dust and, and that our sins will take us back into dust, but that's not where God wants us to be. 
Jesus wants us to be with him at the right hand of the Father and being able to sit there and to celebrate and to worship in the hope that we have in Easter, the hope that continues to fill us and strengthen us is that understanding of Lent, that understanding of being prepared, being ready, being hope-filled. Yes, life is different. Life is, is, is different than what it was for Jesus and his disciples. It's different than what it was for the early church. It's different than what it was for, for even those 20 years ago. There's a lot more asking of our time, a lot more looking for us to do more. But it hasn't stopped us from being prepared. It hasn't changed that, that we should stop being ready and looking for where Jesus is and looking for that movement of God and been hoping, hoping for that time when we will be with him for eternity and celebration and worship filled with joy and hope. So as we go through our Lenten season, as we take our, our Sundays and Lent and we look at hope and we see that different aspects and how it continues to give us life and joy, will you join me on this journey? Will you walk with me in this moment to celebrate? To celebrate Ash Wednesday? To, to take the, the time, maybe not to, to give up our chocolate or our, our food, but to really to take the time adding, adding it to our time of prayer, being more introspective and thinking about all the wonderful things Jesus has done with us and for us. That this Ash Wednesday is truly a celebration this Lenten season is not only a time of, of looking at where we've come from, but also seeing the hope of where we're going. So let's walk on this journey together. Let's walk in this moment of, with hope and expectation. And will you bow with me for a moment of prayer? Gracious God, we thank you for this day. This day that the, the church, the, your disciples, the believer, your believers gather together to mark this moment of preparation, to mark this time of hoping, of seeing your resurrection, of seeing the empty tomb, and knowing that you are with us. So, Lord, as we begin this time, continue to give us your wisdom. Continue to help us to see your heart. Continue to give us the courage to follow in your footsteps and following in your love. In your holy and precious name. Amen. And amen. Thank you. Thank you for joining me, and I hope... Hope your day goes well.